And welcome back to Sports Overtime. As always, Grand Rapids Press Prep Editor, Jane Boss, joining us. Talk a little high school football, and I guess first and foremost, we're already past the halfway point. Heck, there could be playoff positions wrapped up this week already. That is so amazing to Doesn't think about that. Does it go faster every no. year, or is it just me? Yeah, no, it goes faster. And most of the usual suspects are there again this year as well. So. I know. There we are. East Grand Rapids, Rockford, mm -hmm. Lowell. Mm -hmm. There they are. All right, with that in mind, let's take a look at Jane's top ten because that's where those schools sit right at the very top. East Grand Nat Rapids, number one, five and zero. Oh. In fact, everybody in the top five, five and zero, oh, followed of course by Lowell. Both teams coming off big wins, 45-3 over Northview for East Grand Rapids, 42-3 for Rockford or for Lowell. Rockford's in third. Hamilton off that win over Byron Center, fourth, and West Catholic in at number five. Talk about West Catholic being in that group and Hamilton, I guess, with the group of the three big heavy hitters. Well, Hamilton and West Catholic have had strong programs mm -hmm. the last couple of years. They've had some big wins already early this year. They've proven that they are strong, and I think they deserve to be up there. I think both teams obviously got a great shot to get in the playoffs, one win the rest of the way. Yeah, it's looking pretty good right now for all five of those teams. Right. Let's look at your second six, or the second half of the top ten, and that's where it's changed quite a bit. Forest Hills Eastern, is this a debut now this year? I think so. It's the first time they've ever been in my poll. They might have been a couple years ago when they were eight and one, but I don't remember putting them up there. Um, Forest Hills Eastern is very legitimate right yep. now. Zach Wilkerson, the quarterback, he does a fantastic job, and I think it's going to be a great game when they play. Iowa Hills this Friday night. And talk about that in a moment. 5 0, Forest Hills Eastern. Very good team indeed. That's one of the chance I saw them as well. Grand Haven also moving up one spot, as did Holland Christian, Ottawa Hills, and Kennewa Hills uh, at 4 1. Rounding out your top ten. Yeah, Ottawa Hills, I think, has been doing great this year. You know, they did have that one setback, 28-14 to Muskegon, but losing mm -hmm. to Muskegon by two touchdowns is not really a bad thing to do. Kennewa Hills, too, its only losses to East Grand Rapids. How do you keep those guys out of the top ten? When you did keep out Kellogg'sville, I know is one that you wanted to try to put in. Talk a little about the Rockets and the great season they've been having. Well, I've been told I can't tie teams at ten <laughs> because that means it's really a top eleven. Mm -hmm. So okay. I had to make a Fair decision enough. there. <laughs> Kellogg'sville got missed out. You know, they had a huge win over Hopkins. No one expected that. I mean, Kellogg'sville is a very good team, a great running back in Chris Brown, but who would have thought they would have done that? Kellogg'sville, though, you know, only played four games this year. Right. Their second game of the year was against Tri-Unity Christian, who got rid of their program, and so it was supposed to be a forfeit game, but the MHSA ruled that because it was so late in the season when they declared that it was going to be a forfeiture, they said no longer. It's going to be a real game. They are seriously 5-0. and oh. Okay, and the fact is, obviously, they, they, are they a team you think that could do some damage in the playoffs? Because they're not one of the usual suspects. Well, you know, last year they did, you know, they played Kellogg West Catholic, right. and um, it was a decent game. You know, Kellogg'sville's good. They've been there before. So, yeah, they can get there. They'll qualify, but it's going to be tough for them to advance too far. All right. Let's talk about one of the big matchups you mentioned, uh, Forest Hills Eastern and Ottawa Hills, two of your top ten teams. Uh, is that the biggest game this weekend, at least it's in the, the area? It's the biggest one. It's going to be my game of the week. You know, it's going to be huge. Okay. Out at Forest Hills Eastern, Ottawa Hills is playing great. They have an amazing running back in Devin Ivey, and I'm looking very forward to watching him play. What has been impressed you most about Forest Hills Eastern? I mean, offensively, obviously, they're just throwing up tons of points. Well, you know, they're averaging 35 points a game, and their defense is only giving up 15 points a game. Ottawa Hills is hand is averaging 41 points a game and giving up 19. I think it's going to be a great game. Whose offense, whose defense is going to show up? Grand Haven's also in your poll. Are they legit at 4-1? and I know that both you and I both saw them the one night against uh, West Ottawa. The one lost to Rockford. Is that a legitimate strong playoff team, Grand Haven? I've seen Grand Haven the last two weeks and I'm yeah. so impressed with their defense. They have a wonderful defense. Jerry Westerman, an inside linebacker, plays just a, does a great job for them. They're really strong inside. They're, they're big up front. You know, Grand Haven's got a good defense. All right. As we get close and course continue to count down to the playoffs, We'll have Jane here throughout the season. Tell us where they can read uh, online at where. At who's, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Who's the boss Jane Boss has much more on the upcoming season. Of course, week six just around the corner and a chance for teams to clinch playoff spots already. Any uh, surprise team out there that you think may have a chance to get in the playoffs that's on the verge right now? It's really tough. I mean, even Kellogg'sville and all those teams that we've mm -hmm. talked about, you know, getting some of those teams in the playoffs is a huge deal. Okay, Jane will have much more on that, of course. Well, she'll be here with us uh, live earlier in the day and then here on Sports Overtime as well.